My name's Anne Stewart. For this year's Hobart, I'm sailing on Midnight Rambler. And I'm Glenn Stewart, I'm Anne's dad, and I'm the same uh, back on Midnight Rambler for this year's Hobart. And I've got a pretty close relationship, um, and not just father-daughter, but we, we're both police officers and we sail together, we go ocean racing together as well. Last year was a was the toughest race we've had for a while apparently. Um, um, we had 36 hours of a, a fairly strong southerly flow over the fleet, particularly the first night. Um, we, had, we saw uh, late 30s, early 40 uh, knot gusts at times, uh, particularly during a squall and um, I think half the fleet, or close to half the fleet, was knocked out on the first night. So uh, to get over that and um, to see your daughter suffering a bit of seasickness and, um, and pushing through that um, regularly was uh, was also pleasing to see. Um, and uh, yeah, crossing the finish line was a was a huge, hugely proud moment for both of us, uh, especially me. Being my first, um, I was very nervous throughout the whole thing, but having Dad there, you know, he was familiar and comfortable and. Um, that kind of added a bit more comfort for me. Um, but yeah, it's just a different, a different kind of meaning and sense of achievement, obviously having, having done it with Dad. Crossing the finish line, it was amazing, you know. Um, I think leading up to it, I was obviously very nervous with it being my first. Um, and then when it finished, yeah, you just, you just can't believe you did it really. Yeah, you just felt like you've achieved a lot you know, during those four or five days. Um, and it's a big thing, obviously. It's like the pinnacle of ocean racing, the city of Hobart. So yeah, it was, it's, it was pretty cool to have my first. I guess when you're sitting on the rail for a long amount of time, you just kind of, you're like, oh, what am I doing here? Like, I could be anywhere else, but then like you finish it and you're like, oh, wow, well, I, I want to do it again. There's just something about it that draws you back. Um, but yeah, definitely the first night, as Dad said, it was a bit tough, um, 36 hours on the nose. Um, and the first night wasn't great, so that was, it was a bit tough, but you got through it and pushed on. It was particularly tough down the east coast of Tassie after yeah. we had it on the nose for so long and there was a, a light southeasterly forecast and it hit us at four in the morning at 25 plus knots and I saw Anne coming on watch <laughs> and going up to the rail and the look on her face, um, yeah, I felt, felt for them going up on the rail in the rain and uh, yeah, it was the last thing we wanted, um, yeah. our, our last, the second last night at sea, so. Uh, anyway, you get that in the big races. I was very lucky. I've um, obviously sailing with Ed. He's got you know now 40 years sitting in Hobart. Tony Bell, his fourth is upcoming, um, and Dad's got quite a few like years of sailing um, as well as all our other crew. So I definitely look up to all of them and learn learn as much as I possibly can from each of them. Um, and they're all you know um, really good with me. They help me out. They give me advice if I need it. Yeah, so it's really good to have that experience around me. Very happy to be part of the, this, um, the history of this boat and, and Ed's um, being his 40th Hobart this year. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge uh, honour to be um, part of that crew and, and the history and um, we regularly meet up with all the ex-Midnight Ramblers. There's quite a, quite a big tribe of them now, uh, particularly around Sydney and uh, we always uh, get together for a drink and a beer um, whenever the chance arises. So. Oh, look, we, we just hope for a competitive race and, um, and, and do right by Ed and hopefully if we can celebrate his 40th in, in more ways than one. Just not him only achieving that milestone but um, getting a good result on the board as well. That's what we're really hoping for.